it's Potato Sensei here, back again with another tier list video. Now today, I'll be doing a tier list on the Pokemon types. I believe there's 18 different Pokemon types, and I feel like they have all their like ups and downs, so I thought it would be a really good idea to make a tier list for them. Now I don't necessarily dislike any specific type, where I may like one more than another, but I won't really hate on one that 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 much. I won't say like that's a horrible type. I do think that some of them do have some weaknesses, but I think every type has a good amount of pros that kind of make it, you could say, oh, that's a solid type. And one more thing, I do kind of favor design more than competitive value, where if Pokemon A is a really good competitive fighter, I may favor Pokemon B if it's, I like, if I like its design better, or the color scheme, or the origin, so I may like Pokemon B better than Pokemon A. But, let's get right into the tier list. Starting things off, we have the bug type. Now, I feel like the bug type is really underrated. A lot of people don't like it because it has a lot of really big weaknesses for the type advantages. I will bring that up a little bit. I don't know all of them. I know some of the basic ones, like water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. But I won't go too in-depth for that. I like designs better. So for the bug type, I feel like it does have some really bad Pokemon. But I feel like it does really have some solid heavy hitters. I think Vicavolt and Volcarona are some really good bug type Pokemon. And I feel like they just, they make it stand out. I love some of the designs. I feel like they went above and beyond. And even though it has some bad Pokemon in my opinion, I feel like it has some really good ones too. We'll put it in A tier. Moving on, we have the dark type. I don't see this one that that much. I usually see it in the, I think it's the evil teams in the games usually have dark type Pokemon. And I feel like, like bug type, I think it's a little bit underrated. It does have some, I don't think it has that that many Pokemon. It does have some that I would say aren't that that great. But I think the dark type does have some pretty good Pokemon. Two good ones are Obstagoon and Umbreon. I think those are some really nice dark type Pokemon. I, th I love the color schemes. I love the designs, and I feel like the dark type has some solid Pokemon. I don't think it has too many Pokemon, and I feel like I think a lot of them are dual types. But overall, I, th I think the dark type has some good Pokemon. Moving on, we have the dragon type. Dragon type is one of the biggest types in Pokemon. You usually find at the end of the game, they're very strong Pokemon. I feel like they dominate almost every type. I think they had to bring in the, the fairy type, I believe, to balance it out because the dragon type was just demolishing. And I feel like it's not only amazing, I believe, because of the power it has. It has some really nice Pokemon designs. Garchomp and Rayquaza are two really great Dragon-type Pokemon. And I could go on and on, but my editing software can't process too many pictures in this whole tier list footage. So I can't tell you that that much. But there are some really nice Dragon-type Pokemon. And then we can put in an S tier. There's no, there are some that I feel like aren't that that great, but overall I feel like the Dragon type is really substantial, really cream of the crop Pokemon that I think really stand out and are really just solid Pokemon. Moving on, we have the Electric type. I see this one a lot, and overall I just really like the Electric type. I mean, it does have the mascot of the franchise Pikachu. I feel like the Pokemon developers brought the Electric type to so many different areas. I mean, I feel like. I feel like Rotom was a great idea, how he can become like, he can become a lawnmower. I thought that was a great idea. And I feel like the developers went in so many different areas and it, I feel like it walked, worked almost every single time. There's so many really solid electric type Pokemon. And even if there are some odd ones that I feel like don't really belong, I feel like the electric type, just like Dragon, has a really substantial, really cream of the crop set of Pokemon. Moving on, we have the fairy type. Now this type was it. Now this type was introduced in the Kalos region. I think it was only two or three regions ago, and it's still fairly new. Um, I do think that it doesn't have that good of a selection of Pokemon. I mean, it, it's only been there for like two or three regions, so it doesn't have that that many Pokemon. And that of the Pokemon that there are, I feel like there aren't that many great ones. And then in the region that they introduced Fairy type, there weren't that many. I feel like Alola and Galar brought in some good ones, but overall, I feel like they just need more time. I feel like the fairy type just needs a bit more re couple regions, and I feel like it'll be up in B and A tier, but for right now, I'd have to put it in C tier for right now. The next type is the fighting type. You usually see this early on or mid-game, and I feel like the fighting type is pretty good. Two Pokemon that I think are really good for the fighting type are Machamp and Lucario. 
I love Lucario's whole aura thing, aura theme. Design's awesome. Made it into Smash. I mean, that's just an honor for the fighting type. And I think my champ is a really classic Pokemon. I think we can put the... What happened here? I think we can put the fighting type in A tier for right now. I really like the fighting type. Has some great selection of Pokemon. I like the whole Hitmon Chan, Hitmon Lee, I think, and then Hitmon Top. That whole thing was pretty cool. Uh, there's like three different evolutions. That was pretty nice. Moving on, we have the Fire type. Fire type is one of those huge main types. It's one of those starter Pokemon types where there's fire, water, and grass. And I feel like the Fire, fire type has a really nice selection of Pokemon, just like Dragon and Electric. Really cream of the crop Pokemon. It is pretty big, so of course there are going to be those odd Pokemon that just don't feel like they belong. But when you're making so many Pokemon, when there's over over 900, you're going to have some that just don't feel good. It's just the nature of making so many Pokemon. You're going to have some that aren't that great. But I feel like the Fire type has a really good selection. Some good Fire type Pokemon are Charizard, Talonflame, and Cinderace. Some really nice Pokemon that bring the Fire type above and beyond. I think we can put the fire type in S tier for right now. I think it beats electric. Really nice Pokemon, really solid lineup, and I feel like it's definitely a really nice type. Moving on, we have the flying type. Now, I see a lot of Pokemon here. Of course, it has the legendary birds, but I feel like the flying type, just with the fire type, I know the fire type has a bunch of them, but with so many Pokemon, there's going to be some ones that just don't belong, and I feel like the flying type has more of those Pokemon that just don't feel like they belong, they just don't feel right. And I feel like with the flying type, most of them are three stage evolutions, and for the, some of them I just didn't feel like, I just didn't like them, they just felt weird. I think I'm gonna put in an A tier here, there are some really nice Pokemon, I love the regional birds, that theme was really cool, and the legendary birds too, but I feel like the flying type is just brought down with there's just gonna be Pokemon that aren't that great. I mean, it has a good selection, really nice Pokemon, but there are gonna be just some Pokemon that aren't that great. And I feel like the Fly type it just has a big selection of those. Moving on, we have the Ghost type. Now this one, unlike the Flying type, which even though it has a good selection, there are some odd ones, Ghost type just goes above and beyond. Great Pokemon. You got Gengar, Chandelure, Trevenant, Mimikyu, so many great Pokemon, and I feel like the devs just had that huge passion with the ghost type. I really like how Mimikyu is literally a Pokemon dressing up as Pikachu, or it like draw Pikachu's face on a, I don't know, piece of paper, I don't really know, but it's a really cool and unique Pokemon. And I feel like it's just a really good example of how the ghost type has a really good selection of Pokemon. I mean, you have like a spooky tree with Trevenant, a freaking chandelier with Chandelure, and Gengar, I mean, I don't even know what that is. Definitely S tier, better than Dragon. Moving on, we have the Grass type. Now, this one, I think it's just like flying. Flying has a lot of type Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon. Grass type has a ton of Pokemon, and I think it has a pretty good selection. You got Sceptile, Leafeon, Venusaur, Gogo. Really good selection of Grass type Pokemon, and it goes well with that nature, where the exploration theme of Pokemon. And I think with that kind of nature theme, I think the Grass type goes really well. I think we can put it at B tier and flying type in B tier too with grass. Uh, I think we can move grass up a little bit. I really like grass because I feel like it holds like a special place in my heart. Because for a ton of regions, I pick the grass type Pokemon every single time. Because I just loved the designs for them. Venusaur, the color combinations just looked amazing. I was just so like drawn to the great designs of the grass type Pokemon. Moving on, we have the ground type. I think the ground type does really well in those desert climates. I feel like they really do well with the environments that they're in. I mean, you got freaking Groudon, huge Pokemon. Legendary, I think it's like a the land Pokemon or something. Really good design, you got Excadrill too. I love how it went with the whole New York theme for the Unova region, how it's in like subways, I think that went well. And I think the ground type has a pretty good selection of Pokemon. I think we can put it... A fly, fly, I feel like I'm putting too much pressure on flying. It does have a pretty good selection of Pokemon. Maybe we can put it there. Moving on, we have the ice type. I really like the ice type. I like how they've incorporated so many different themes into it. And overall, I feel like the ice type is pretty good as a, 
it just has too many weaknesses. I don't like to bring in too much of like power in the games because I favor designs a lot. But I mean, you really can't ignore ice types. So many weaknesses. Fire, fighting, um, I even forgot that there's just too many. I think it's only resistance again is ice, ice itself. I mean, it does have um, super effective against dragon, grass, I think bug too, and flying. But it can't protect itself very well. And it does have some good designs. You got um, Glaceon, Lapras, two pretty good Pokemon. But I feel like it doesn't have, it is an okay selection of Pokemon. It's getting better, getting better. Um, I think we can put it, I think we can put Ice type. Ah. Dark type has some really good Pokemon. I think we can move Dark above ground. Oh, I, I think that's good. Moving on, we have the Water type. One of the biggest types in Pokemon. So many Pokemon. I think... Well, so some great Pokemon, we'll get to that first. Kyogre, Primarina, and Greninja. Three really great Pokemon. Outstanding. Kyogre... Ooh, excuse me. Kyogre, I love it a lot. Huge legendary Pokemon. Primarina, great design. I loved it in the Alola region. Greninja, just epic to look at. Ninja Frog with Water Share Kids, amazing. Water type, definitely S tier. So many Pokemon, and yes, there's gonna be some Pokemon that don't belong there and don't feel that great, but even though it's one of the biggest types, I feel like it just has so many great consistent Pokemon. I, w I love those like water areas in the game where you're exploring. I love the Pokey Ride in Gen 7 where you're like riding a Sharpedo, riding a Lapras, that was cool. And I feel like the water type just has a huge present in Pokemon games. I love how it's one of the starter Pokemon types, great selection of Pokemon. Always there, always amazing. Moving on to the normal type. I think this is, yeah, I think it, what is it? I don't know. I, I don't know if it's normal or water with the most abundant type. But I feel like a lot of people press down on normal type. Uh, but I do feel like it has a good selection of Pokemon. You got Snorlax, Stoutland, Kangaskhan, some really good Pokemon that have some pretty good designs. Snorlax, classic. Stoutland is underrated. I think it's a really great Pokemon. And Kangaskhan, oh my gosh, the name is awesome. And having it be that, like, um, country or continent specific or exclusive Pokemon in Pokemon Go, I remember, that was pretty cool. And I feel like the normal type does really well. Um, I think we move flying back to A tier. Dar uh, mm. Well, Dark type has some other good ones too, so I think it beats normal. And then, oh, I see. Ground type has some good that I wasn't able to mention. Moving on, we have the poison type. I don't see this one that much. I only usually see when I'm fighting the evil teams, but I think the poison type is really nice. You got some great Pokemon like Crobat and Toxicroak. Really classic, really amazing, really just great designed Pokemon. It doesn't have too many Pokemon, I believe, and not too many like standout ones. But I feel like, I think it's B tier also. I think I'm gonna put poison type there. I feel like it does have that good selection of Pokemon. Not too many, not too many outstanding ones, but I mean, it's a solid type. Psychic type, though, big type. So I think Psychic has a really good selection of Pokemon. You get Alakazam, Mewtwo, Gardevoir, and Gallade. I mean, there's so many others. Great Pokemon. I feel like they took that Psychic to the whole new level. I mean, Mewtwo, huge Pokemon. Gardevoir and Gallade, great designs. I love how they didn't just make Psychic like hypnotize. I mean, that's a move, but I mean, I feel like they went so many places with the psychic type. I think we can put an S tier. I think we can move electric down here. Um, I think we can move flying down there. I think that's good. Next, we have the rock type. I feel bad for fairy. It's all alone. Moving on to rock type. I think rock type is pretty solid, if you know what I mean. Some great rock type Pokemon are Gigliath, Lycanroc, and the Fossil Pokemon. Fossil Pokemon are big. I feel like people forget that when they're making these tier lists because I always thought the Fossil Pokemon were really cool where, I, I don't know how, but somehow you get fossils and if you bring them to somebody, they'll uncover them and you get some really cool Pokemon. I feel like the rock type is really nice. I think we can put it... Um... I think we can put the rock type there. I don't want to put ice in, in C tier. 
Moving on, we have the Steel type. Steel type is really underrated in my opinion. Some great Pokemon are Aegislash and Metagross, two really nice Pokemon. And I feel like it just has that really nice selection. I love how Aegislash is that like shield and it can like change stances. Metagross, classic for the Hoenn region. All you Ruby and Sapphire fans will know that Steven had his Metagross as the champion big battle. I think I think we could put Steel type and I don't think it beats grass, but I think we can put it in A tier. So there you have it, the Pokemon types tier list. I think that's good. Water Ghost, Dragon, Fire, Psychic. That's good. I want to put Bug type up, but as much as I do favor it as a personal preference, I do think that there are ones that are better than it. Fine, a lot on B tier. I'm so sorry for Fairy type, but I feel like in the next couple of regions, it will definitely move up because it just doesn't have that. Just doesn't have enough Pokemon to have that many standout ones. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you think differently with this, comment below. I want. It's always cool to see other people's opinions for these whole tier lists. Thank you so much for watching. Potato Sensei out.